Now then, earlier in the year, I tried my hand at being a reporter for the BBC's holiday programme. They sent me to Namibia, which is a former German colony on the west coast of Africa. And to be honest, my report really wasn't very good. Uh, you see, I recorded this bit where I said that no Nazis had run away there after the war. I said I'd been assured of this by a Mr Adolf Hilter, who runs a post office on Bismarckstrasse. <laughs> and uh, not to put too fine a point on it, the director went nuts. He explained that so far as the holiday programme is concerned, Hitler never existed. And not only that, no one's ever been shot in Miami, there's no such thing as typhoid, and there are no turds at all in the Mediterranean. <laughs> no, none. You see, you don't talk about unpleasantness on BBC One at seven o'clock. What you talk about instead is things like ancient myth and legend. Nearby Gubbio is medieval, down to the stories which accompany its stones. They say if you walk round the Fontana dei Matti, the Fountain of the Mad, three times, you go mad. OK, basic rules then. You use music, you talk about legend a lot, and no matter where you get sent, be nice about it. So bearing all that in mind, I thought I'd try this holiday presenter lark again. And this is what I came up with. If there is a heaven on earth, this is it. <laughs> Rotherham. <laughs> It was heavily industrialised, but today it's the fashion capital of this part of South Yorkshire. <laughs> I spent an hour or two in the market checking out the bargains. even tried my hand at haggling. Right, that's splendid. Now then, I'll give you two pounds for that. Oh, no, you don't. You give me three pounds, I'll fuck off that, Mark. <laughs> it may be a long walk to the beaches, but with two rivers and a canal, there's no shortage of water sports. <laughs> It's at night, though, that Rotherham truly comes alive. <laughs> you tough. I spent the next morning taking in the sights and smells of Rotherham's incredible gardens, which are dotted around all over the town. <laughs> but it's more than one big nature reserve. Rotherham is a town steeped in ancient myth and legend. Local folklore has it that if you drive round this roundabout often enough, You'll run out of petrol. <laughs> Eating out here is a simple pleasure where you're faced with a bewildering array of local delicacies. I'll have a kebab butty, please. <laughs> okay, thanks. Mmm. Mmm. That's gorgeous. <laughs> And you can wash it all down with a nice pint of the local brew. They call it beer. <laughs> local folklore has it that if you drink enough of this stuff, you'll have a fight. <laughs> My bet is you'll want to come back to Rotherham time after time. I travelled with last resort holidays. <laughs> this is based on four people buying a house. <laughs> oh, and don't worry, they include all fights and transfers. <laughs> this is the thing, Terry. Only this week, the MP for Rotherham took umbrage at something I said last week and has said 
in a press release which has been quoted in a lot of newspapers that Jeremy Clarkson is a patronising, self-important, snide, two-faced, self-hating, arrogant waste of an NUJ card, if he has one. It's hard, hard to criticise that, isn't it's... it? <laughs> it's... He seems to... He seems to have got to the nub of it there. <laughs> but, I mean, you haven't had a bomb threat, have you? Have you had a bomb threat? Certainly have. A bomb was sent to broadcasting hosts. What for? By this, um, by this... Someone who didn't like your record? A unabomber. <laughs> it sent this bomb to broadcasting hosts, and, of course, the BBC, in, in its usually calm and collected way, panicked <laughs> and, um, and phoned everybody, and the police blocked the traffic from broadcasting hosts all the way to Oxford Circus, London came to a halt. And I was on my holidays. <laughs>